Spectral Mall. <laughs> I'm a 10. How do you always have that ready to go so quickly? To be honest, I don't know how much more of this there is. I believe last time the game was very quiet. That's why I had to put music in the video that I, I made. It should be a bit more audible this time. So I, I think we got a new, vi a new videotape. Hello. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So, flesh, flesh friends forever. I have it written on my nerdy text file. <laughs> okay. Everyone needs a nerdy little text file. You know, like a little book, a little, a little nerdy text file, a file for all your little notes. Well. The scenery isn't what you expected from the videotape's cover box, especially when the box has all this colorful, happy friends on it. This videotape had seen better days as well. The audio quality is all crusty and not so great. Oh well, let's see what this tape wants to show you. Wow. I love the texture warping. Uh, let me, you know, hold on. I believe everything is see you, my friend. Fiend. Hold on. Don't believe everything you see, my friend. I still read it as Fiend. For the sake of editing, I may I might do a little bit of uh, take twos this time around. Oof. What pleasant flesh floors we have! Hello. You recognize seeing this creature, along with the other characters on the box that the videotape has, was tucked nicely inside. It's looking pretty distressed, trembling violently for some reason, though. You wonder what has happened to his friend. You ponder to yourself, how does this creature has no hands at all? Only its two proud feet are her limbs. How did it wear his hat? How does she eat their sandwich? There were many questions for this beast's structural integrity, but you eventually ceased thinking, therefore you amped. There is another tape you get from your mall friend, but it ends the demo while showing his... Oh. Well. Oh, it's our friendly cat, cat friend again. <laughs> Am I dreaming, or is it one of those days again? I just want to go home. I got a lot of... lots of paperwork to do. Oh! Not everything is okay right now. Creepy. 
Oh, hi. Who are you? I don't remember seeing you before. Have you arrived here recently? If that's the case, welcome to the housewarming party. You're a bit too late. I, uh, by the way, have you seen your friend? Hi, on the wall here. He's been missing for a few hours. Where did he go? He's been looking extra nervous today. Oh well, that's probably no use asking the stranger about this. But if you do find him, please let me know. I'm quite concerned, see? What's up with that blue guy? Oh, uh, blue guy. You mean our friend, Fee? Have you seen him? Silence went on for ten seconds. After that, a sound of child children saying yes out of thin air could be heard. Yes. That is really loud. Oh, no. I can turn my mic down a bit. Sorry about that. I have a, um, whatchamacallit. I do have a, uh, uh... Thing. It's supposed to keep the, the, like, all the sounds pretty regulated, but it must not have succeeded. So let me maybe turn it up a bit. It's the filter that amplifies it weirdly. Well, we'll try this for a little bit. I've turned it. I've turned my mic down a little bit. We'll see how that. We'll see how that works. I may also just turn my mic down when I use that might just feel louder than it is. Uh, not to invalidate what you're saying, Neville, I, I really don't want to do that, but um, can I get someone else to weigh in on the on the robot voice? Is it is it very loud? Uh, either way, I'll turn my mic down when I do that voice. Good. Where did you find her? Flesh. What? What? I don't want to joke around now. Friends, where is... where is Fi? All right. I'll try to. I'll try not to use a robot voice then. Did anyone saw that? I'm sorry, lad, but those childs are correct. I found it being alone in a family unfriendly environment. I gotta remember to turn up my mic after I'm done the robot voice. Here, we'll just turn the robot voice off. How about that? What in the tarnation? First we got a stranger in the house and now the family unfriendly thing. What is going on? Huh? Fee, you're back. Where have you been? I have to let Jorn know about this. Just stay there. Finally we can continue our housewarming party. Yay. Hey, Al. Hey, you're gnawing on my jacket. What's wrong? Can you stop pulling on my jacket so I can tell him we're that you're back? Huh? Get out of here. No way. He just came to this house. 
Hold on. Hey man. You see that fly has been excessively trembling since we sh he showed up again? This is really odd. I've never seen it being that anxious before. I think we should follow her. Oh hey, Jorn. Didn't see you there, but oh my god. Alright, enough. <laughs> Didn't see you there, buddy. Faye just came back. What I need is I need another I need another button. Give me a second here. I'm gonna try and set up multiple here. Hey. Got your personal business done? We also have just gathered up here. So what's next? Good. Housewarming, go. I don't have enough buttons. Alrighty, where should we go? Up there. Aha, let's get started, everyone. What could possibly go wrong? Come on, Faye. Can you help me reach the kitchen upstairs? While I grab those plates, let's go. What is happening? Please do not disturb my resources ever again, thank you. Okay, that was something. Uh, can I go in there again, or is that it? Is that all that there is in this, uh, in this tape? Seems that the tape is different this time. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have the dog over here anymore. Oh. The man's on the other side. You had enough watching this tape? Halt the tape player in return. So we have uh, a potential antagonist for this game. You didn't realize you can gather them together, to be honest, and just left? Hello. I don't exist. the demo by taking a photo of the Christmas tree. Creepy.
Do I have to take it from upstairs? Hello. Even though this mall you had filmed with your camcoder holding tiny little hands were built fairly recently, there wasn't that much people flocking around the mall. Still, the place had gotten quite a nice view you could enjoy up on the lounge floor. Perhaps I was enjoying being there at that exact moment of time back then, though. The specific spectacle reminded you of the old promise for yourself that you should revisit the place after the tests were o over. Yet you have just remembered about it now. What a shame. Oh, a <laughs> Among the many men, it is a well-known fact that excessive dose of caffeine is lethal to many human biological vessels. Symptoms in adults may include the following. A natural shaking fever, increased thirst, anxiety, hallucinations, and death. Drink irresponsibly at your own risk uh, under parental advisory. Among the many men... Yeah. We can't go up here, right? No. Hello. Innocent looking cardboard box. Ah, oh, my good. You can hear your own squealing through the crappily recorded videotape. You must have found something inside the box. At this, as the squeal pierces my ears, I pause the video and upon closer inspection, it was made clear why. There was a creepy looking man with weird headband inside the box. And he looks very disturbed, understandably squealable. <laughs> Microwaving caffeine is shown to increase lethality by 1776. So, uh, is this, where do I take this picture? Is there a button to take the picture? I don't remember what your friend says to do to finish this tape. Let's go talk to them. I decided to just watch all three 54 tapes tonight. Today is going to be a long, long night. May the power of energy drink and the caffeine pills guide us through the darkness of many nights. We shall tread on. On the other hand, though, how was the tree? Middle. Middle, huh? All right, that was unexpected. Because, you know, I still remember when you nagging me to go to the soon-to-be-open mall just to see the tree every time we walked down the streets. Streets? Ha! Huh. That was a funny word. Tickled my brain every time I hear it. Never gets old nor new. Just in middle. Wait, hadn't we recorded something else on the street before this one? Let's see if it's still around this place when you eject this tape. Also. You remembered the existence of tape roadside. The unlocked tape are now available in the device for us to watch. Okay, y'all, uh, content warning on this next part. Got anything else to do here? Let's meet up at the outside when we're done with this place. For now, I'm gonna check for more tapes to rent here. Do, 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 ba, boo. 1776. Talk to your friend. Maybe. Yeah. I get a deep-seated nostalgia from this game. I'm not sure what it is. Honey, don't you think Anton is looking oddly gorgeous ever since he came back from... What was it? Boy Scouting last week? Oh, God. Please don't tell me that's where this is going. Okay. Of 
course, and it feels odd, while I'm very glad to see that he's looking gorgeous and all, but he also kind of looks kind of drowsy all the time. Did you notice that? Yes, he went to the winter camp, so it's no surprise to see him catch a cold. Oh, my worst concerns that he seemed to be suddenly forgetting about things a lot recently. No content warning? He's trying to act like he's totally fine, but I can see his long face right through him. Not the best timing given that the final exams are coming for up for him also. Well, Kevbo, you're, you're not wrong. I am, in fact, drinking uh, Starbucks right now. I wonder what happened to him while he was out there. I'm really concerned, Marius. Have you asked him about that? Of course I did. I tried to talk to him, but Kid just welded his mouth shut the whole time. How could I get to get him to talk it out if he's like that? Christ, let's just forget about this whole negative concerns and stuff. We can only hope that it's just a common cold, and he really could have just done some intense trainings there to become extra buff in exchange of his brain juice, you know. Quit joking, Marius. Our son's looking as lively as a frozen fish, and we as a parent can't do anything about it. We should be ashamed. I believe in my boy, and I can only hope he would never lie to us. What if Anton did not actually want to be... went to the camp at all? Uh, I get your concern, Jane, but let's just pause those thoughts for a while. I'm afraid we have a loads of work to do tomorrow, and worrying like this won't do any help on that. Let's just take a rest. Rest up for now. We can always directly ask him in the morning. I'll give him some meds before I go, just in case. This game is going to ruin reading for me forever. This is a game about watching old videotapes from your childhood. No wonder it's nostalgic. Something about the presentation of it as well. It's a very anxious night, hearing them wonder about me behind the door, for they do not know. The guilt, as bitter as an expired cough syrup I had that day, tormented me every night since then, yet I could not tell them the truth. I had to lie to my parents for the first time, but that was it. Hopefully I didn't make them worry too much. Probably I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy, I'm a good boy. Again. <sighs> Hate it when that happens. Feels as, like as if I'm getting forcefully shown my worst childhood memories, clockwork orange style. What were I doing again? Oh, oh, yeah, right. Time to check out those newly found videotapes. Flesh Fiend Friends Forever, one of your childhood show, and one of the only videotapes that somehow survived through the test of time. Our mother bought it when uh, you were all when you were around four, hoping that it would aid on learning foreign language by speaking along with the subtitles. Though this, the show ended up having no subtitles, and not only one foreign languages, but rather a weird mix of English and various other languages. Good times. I wonder if that's why the language in this game is so broken. All this feels like not only yesterday, but yester seconds. Yet remembering them was harder than you thought. Can't wait to revisit this one. Baby. Nice, you found a tape, as seen on TV. You didn't notice this bad boy being here, probably because it's under all those dusts and grimes all those years before. No wonder why they blend in so nicely with the ground. Hadn't been the videotapes you just watched, you would never have remembered about the their existence at all. Have you guys heard um, the there's a there's an interview with Miyazaki, not um, Hayao Miyazaki, but the Miyazaki that made or directed the Dark Souls games he said uh, one of the reasons that he makes those games so kind of opaque in terms of their storyline and like um, 
I don't know, like purposely buried is because he would watch shows in a different language or play games in a different language than his his native speaking one. And uh, it made them a bit more interesting to him because he didn't understand what people were saying. And so it kind of added to the whole mystique of like solving mysteries in the game. And so he kind of wanted to like carry that forward to the Souls series where it's almost as if the entire game is like one impenetrable foreign and alien language that doesn't make sense to the viewer. Hello. Back to work it is. English speakers will never understand this. Maybe. This will end the demo. Are you sure? Yes. We're 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 ending it. Huh? An important security update were detected as and is in progress of installing. Update what? This is just a merely functioning CRT monitor hooked up to a videotape player. Why does this thing even need an update? This is a bloody ridiculous. What time is it? 2,721 hours and 50, 75 seconds left until the dinner. Thankfully, my family probably hadn't even begun making the dinner yet, let alone exist. Too many time. Too many responsibilities. Think I'm going to go for a tiny particle of a nap. If I can, that is. There's more yet to come. You've only played through half of this wretched thing that is my video game. Thank you for playing and stay tuned. You can check out the game's progress on my Twitter. Big, if not deluxe, thanks for Gribble Snap for making a kick bollocks music and Polydux for their courtesy on one of the assets. See you around. Game on. Thank you and thanks for playing. Do, do. Yeah! do, 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 do. Um, how do I get out of this? Alt F4! Well, it's it's over. Um, I enjoyed that. It's, uh... It's very... Just barely on the, on the fringe of, like, that so random humor. Like, it's so barely, like, just... It just kind of kisses the edge of like random for the sake of random humor but it does have something that kind of pulls it all together um which which is that it's it's grounded in some kind of theme of like a, this nostalgic memory this nostalgic kind of childhood memory and it does kind of feel like deliberately um manic in its delivery because it's, I feel like that is part of like remembering. It's like, uh, 